boys and girls. Today we're going to be reading The Teddy Bear Couldn't Do Anything. The teddy bear rested his head on the pillow and looked at the toy shelf. The other toys didn't say hello or smile or even nod. They never paid any attention to him. They thought he was just a silly old bear who didn't know how to do anything. Maybe they're right, thought the teddy bear. Look at the other toys. The soldier knows how to march. The ballerina knows how to dance. The monkey can play the drum. But all I can do is lie here. Up on the shelf, the soldier was getting ready to march. He strained his soldiers, and he stood tall, and he stepped forward. The teddy bear watched the shiny soldier march proudly across the shelf. He swung his arms and tapped his heels and turned smartly each time he came to the edge. Maybe I can stand straight and tall and march like the soldier, said the teddy bear, sitting up. If it, I'm sure I can. The toy soldier stopped marching and stared at the bear. What did you say? he asked. Well, said the teddy bear quietly, because suddenly he wasn't so sure of himself. I could try. The teddy bear rolled off the bed and tried to march. But his legs were too fat and his tummy was too big. He took three small steps and fell over. The other twins laughed as the bear climbed back onto the bed. Then the ballerina began to dance. Around and around she twirled. The teddy bear tried to dance like the ballerina. But he was much too clumsy. He fell down with a thud and felt very foolish indeed. There must be something I can do, the teddy bear thought as he pulled himself back onto the bed. But as hard as he tried, he couldn't think of a single thing. Just then, the monkey stepped forward and started to play the drums. Tap, tap, went the drum, tap, 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 tap. The teddy bear sat up and listened. I could do that, he said. I can make a drumming sound like that. He went to the toy box and he pulled out two drumsticks. Then he closed the lid and wrapped his paws around the six. Tap, tap. When the drumsticks on the top of the toy box, the teddy bear smiled. At last, he found something he could do. But then the stick slid out of his fat little paws and fell onto the floor. The teddy bear shook his head and sat down in the corner. It's no use, he sighed. I really can't do anything special. He sat in the corner for a long time while the other toys marched and played and danced. Then he climbed back into the bed and slid down under the covers. When the sun set and the room grew dark, the little soldiers led the ballerina and the monkey back to their places on the shelf. Soon, it would be time for the boy to come into the room. At last, the boy turned on the light. He walked over to the toy shelf. The soldier stood tall and proud. The monkey held his drumsticks tightly. The ballerina was on her toes, ready to dance. But the boy shook his head. He walked over to the bed, looked on his pillow. Then he looked under the bed. The boy's face grew worried and sad. Finally, the boy got into bed, but he couldn't sleep. Something was wrong. And then the boy's toe felt something. Something soft and round and fat and nice. He reached down deep under the covers and found his teddy bear. The boy hugged the bear and was happy. And the bear, who couldn't do anything but hug, was happy too. That was a great story, guys. Everyone grab their teddy bears and give them the biggest hugs. Aren't you guys grateful for teddy bears and the softest hugs they give? I know I sure am. <laughs> I hug Mr. Bear every night before I go to bed. He keeps me safe and warm. <laughs> Alright, guys. Thanks for joining us. See you soon. Say bye, Mr. Teddy. <laughs> bye, guys.